Now there is a way to write a song through inspiration versus outright copyright. And today I'm gonna to give you a little preview of how I do that. First, let's bring up some other song lyrics, which I love the songs. One of my favorite songs, Power by Kanye West. And he has a lot of great metaphors in here. And I just love the uh, overall feel of the song, really inspiring. And I'm gonna go down here and let's take a line right here. They say, I was the abomination of Obama's nation. Well, that's a pretty bad way to start a conversation. I'm going to take this right here. I like what it's saying as far as uh, just how he's describing the way he's felt. He talks about location. Like, There's a lot of different ideas going into this one bar. And let's go over here. Okay, so from this, I'm going to take this word here, abomination, and like I said, I really liked the message he was trying to get out with the way he's portrayed, an abomination. So I'm going to go over here to, I like to use rhyme zone. We're going to put in the word abomination. I'm going to go to the thesaurus and thesaurus is what's going to tell you other words that have the um, similar meaning to it. So let's just kind of go down a list. I have a couple that are sticking out to me over here. So we'll just take this and bring it over to our new document we've created here. Okay, so as I'm looking at this, I think we'll be using atrocity. And of course, if you wanna just delete all this, I'm gonna leave it up because um, that's just how I do my note taking. I may see another word that I want to substitute for that if it doesn't work out. So we see that abomination is being rhymed here with this. Actually, I'll just kind of highlight over. Let's see. Abomination, nation and conversation. So it's a little bit unusual rhyming pattern, but it does create a lot of um, interest when you're listening interest rather. Okay, so let's find some words that are uh, rhyming with atrocity. So go back up here. Select find rhymes. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to pick a couple. Oh, yeah. Just some that are sticking out to me. I do like curiosity, monstrosity, velocity. Philosophy. Okay. So, la la la. Go back over here. Oh, no, it's going to do all that. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Curious. Well, whatever. So, next I would take, I think I'm going to do. Atrocity. Let's do curiosity. And I'm not really liking those. Velocity, actually, we can do that. Okay. Now, this isn't going to be a straight up copying of 
this bar it's just like I said that's the difference between inspiration and straight up copyright so something like this the concept of this they say I was the abomination of Obama's nation they you could say um, I've been called an atrocity for my unending curiosity so we'll just do that That's a pretty bad way to start a conversation. So we're using um, adverbs here. Pretty bad way to start a conversation. So I've been called an atrocity from an unending curiosity. Uh, let's see. The, and, and this is, when I'm writing something, it might change like 10 different times. I feel like this is going to be the final line on this. Um, so let me see here. I've got... I've been called an atrocity from an ending curiosity. That's because they, uh, couldn't fathom my terminal velocity. Okay. So, here we go. We've wrote a line from start to finish that is a, uh, inspired by but definitely not a copyright of any sort by another artist so I've been called an atrocity for my unending curiosity that's because they couldn't fathom my terminal velocity it's a little bit wordy but it could be worked into a song thanks for watching please subscribe